It is not a question of money. Well, you see, I'm buying this hotel and uh, setting some new rules about the pool area. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and uh, Tim Pool taking Petty to a whole new level. A level that I 100% respect. This is what happens when you have, like, um, have, you know, uh, a, a level of income that you can kind of do as you see fit. This is basically a mini Elon buying Twitter scenario, and it's one of the most petty, hilarious, slash awesome things that I've ever been able to report on. I don't know if Tim has addressed this yet, but I think it's absolutely hilarious. So we start with, first of all, what is a DIY? Skaters will talk about a DIY. Essentially, they'll trespass on property that they don't own and build a skate park. Do I have a problem with it? No, I do not. I don't have a problem with it, especially when it's like city-owned land or abandoned house or whatever. As long as these, as long as they're not like, you know, hurting themselves and suing somebody over it, I don't care. Okay, so DIYs have been around forever. Sometimes, landowners, people who own the land, will say, you know, you know, little local skate group will go to them and say, "Hey, uh, can we build a little skate park on your on your property? We promise not to sue you or this kind of thing or the other thing." Because obviously, liability is a thing. Um, you know, when I was younger. 16, 17, there was a farmer that had uh, storage units and he would let bands practice there until, you know, inevitably people started drinking too much and, and all sorts of bad stuff happened. And then we lost that. That's, that's, the, that's the way every one of these goes. Something bad happens, you know, it's great, it's great, it's great. People push it too far and it goes away. But, it, you know, in, from the spirit of things, I don't have a problem with DIY skate parks. Now, if we go back to... Uh, August 21st, this is a, this is a one year long revenge story. August 21st, 2023, there was a local, um, skate competition, uh, in Martinsburg, which must be near where Tim pool lives. And he said, I'm committing $20,000 towards prizes at this local DIY skate jam, best trick contest. 12K first prize, 6K second prize, 2K third prize. Richie Jackson will assist in judging. I've done nothing to organize this, and I have no idea how it will even be possible. Going to be fun. So he basically reaches out and says, hey, there's a little skate jam thing. Here's a pile of money, probably more money than any skater would ever dream of getting at one of these type of events. Uh, and, of course, what did they do? They rejected him. Okay. So he had immediately one hour later canceled his $20,000 donation saying cancel. We are canceling the prize pool. Trust me, the payoff is going to be so worth it. Just, just stick with me here. Uh, we are canceling the prize pool as the organizers have rejected the offer. So you're running a little DIY skate park. You offer somebody out of, you know, left field offers 20 grand in prizes when they probably didn't have any prize money. Uh, and you deny it. Why? Because you don't like Tim Pool. Sorry to everyone who hit me up and was excited about it. We're going to try and buy land nearby and host our own skate event later. New details of our event soon, hopefully in a week or two. I don't know if you ever pop, you know, post that up, you know. Uh, so the left was like, ha ha, dunk, ha ha ha. People act like Tim doesn't skate. Tim has skated a long time. So of course the you know you say without asking anyone Tim Pool says he's giving twenty thousand dollars to the winners of a local skate competition. Organizers say no thanks. We don't need to be flooded with Beanie Bros looking to make a quick buck. Tim Pool now wants to buy his own skate competition. By the way, none of that is no. Pro First of all, if they want to reject his money, that's their right. If Tim Pool wants to start his own skate tournament, that's totally within his rights. But what if I told you? <laughs> that instead of starting his own skate tournament, he just bought the land <laughs> that the DIY skate park was on. <laughs> I, he bought the land out from underneath the people who had the DIY skate park on it. I mean, that is epic. 
and and the DIY, which the skate park has a Instagram, and they put out uh, the most legendary of copes yesterday uh, that I've ever seen. Uh, and and it's just some people are saying, you know, ha ha ha, like they don't like Tim, and 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 you know, and he's forcing himself, you know, into their space, and blah blah blah. Uh, okay, you know, again. I think they had every, you know, they had every right to turn down his money. You know, that's 100% fine. Um, but they turned it down because they don't like Tim Pool, uh, not because they didn't need the money. So if we go to their Instagram stories, they, they posted this yesterday. On August 21st, 2023, Tim Pool, a prominent right wing podcaster, inserted himself into the 10th anniversary skateboard event and contest at Martinsburg DIY Skate Park. Again, the reason I explain what a DIY is is to, so that you would understand now that I, the, Tim has got his epic revenge that these skaters didn't own the park and they didn't own the land it was on either. So they were artificially gatekeeping is what I'm saying. Um, so on the 10th anniversary skateboard event and contest at the Martinsburg DIY, with the idea of committing a total of $20,000 prize money for first, second, and third place winners. This self-insertion <laughs> was without our the guidance or knowledge of the local skateboarders who led the DIY spot. To avoid possible negative attention, it's kind of cut off on your screen, but uh, that would be associated with Tim Pool, the money was refused. And Tim Pool was barred from attending the event by local skaters. So I want to say, first of all, this is why I don't care. And I hope that I hope that he burns it down is what I you know, like. I just it's the first part of that statement is actually understandable. It's like, hey, we're like this small thing and we don't want to like we're just here to skate. Um, and, you know, and I don't we don't really want to be having some like political thing involved. And so thanks, but no thanks. But then on top of that, they banned Tim Pool from ever attending it. So that tells you that they're lying in the first part, that they do, in fact, care. And it's all about Tim Pool. So then they put the screenshot. I'm committing 20K in prizes towards this local DIY skate jam, which we talked about previously. Then they go on to say the Martinsburg DIY skate park was an unofficial skating spot. So the property owner was unaffiliated, unaffiliated with the local skate scene. The head locals of the DIY skate park were in contact with the property owner and even had permission to continue to use the land for skating and minor obstacle development. Essentially, uh, commies get blown out. That These are a bunch of communist LARPers um, squatting on someone else's property who gave them permission, okay? And now they're getting... <laughs> that this is, the, this is the payoff. I hope you made it. On September the 11th, so now they can literally call it their 9/11. <laughs> they can literally call it their. They, <laughs> they can literally call it their own personal. <laughs> okay, whatever. On September 11, 2023, only 21 days after Tim Pool's tweet announcing his involvement in the event, uh, 310 Raleigh Street, Martinsburg, West Virginia, which was held by the DIY, which held the DIY spot, was bought for $850,000 by. Will of the People Production, LLC. Will of the People Production, LLC is solely owned by Tim Pool. Tim Pool bought the land which resided the Martinburg DIY skate park, which devastated the Martinburg skate, skate scene. <laughs> oh my God, this is just, this is what you get. This is like, oh, you tried to bully him? Oh, now, you, now that you did that, he just went to the property owner and bought the land off him. He continues, Temple was so offended that his offer was unaccepted that he felt the need to try to dismantle the Martinburg skate scene by using his monetary advantage. You may be able to buy out our land, but you cannot buy out our scene. Um, again, as far as I know, Tim has not banned these commie LARPers from that park. And then this is, I realize that some of you who follow me have been skating with this person and even helping generate content for a social media website. They're talking about Tim pool. Ask yourself why someone with no ties to the local scene feels the need to co-opt our event 
that real community members have worked hard on. As far as I know, Tim's lived there for almost 10 years now. Well, five years probably. Uh, why does he feel the need to commandeer a DIY spot that has been here for years? All you had to do is take his 20 grand, bro. All you had to do is take his 20 grand. If your response is that he's making the spot more accessible, you're ignoring his disgusting, very public, and here we get the truth, attitude towards LGBTQ plus community, as well as our LGBTQ skaters who deserve our support and would undoubtedly face discrimination when trying to skate a DIY, which has been open to all skaters for a year long. I, I don't care. That's why I say get, you know, get wrecked commie larpers to the tweet that brought me uh brought this attention to me tim pool bought the land a diy was built on after the locals denied his money for a skate event they didn't want tim to be a part of you see i'm gonna mute the craziest part is the locals can literally say that yeah this is their own <laughs> uh you know you're out of your mind if you think i'll be destroying my peace by arguing with strangers in my mentions i mean again again you know it's a self-funded skate park where locals chip in their time and money to build obstacles for themselves. But here's the other important thing. Is he denying the use of the land to them? No. But imagine your childhood bu bully buying your house and allowing you to live there. <laughs> I mean, what an incredible... I don't know if he made a video about this. I don't know. Like, I understand Tim. Tim's still at that phase of his life, I think, where he thinks that these people will accept him. I don't know. I went through this with Magic the Gathering, obviously. Um, you know, the leftoids, you know, hated me in the Magic the Gathering community. It was a game I loved and had been playing since the very, the game came out in 1993. Most of these people had a, you know, who had a problem with me weren't even born in 1993. Um, but they rose to power in Wizards of the Coast. I got banned and I was unwelcome at events. And that's just how it happens sometimes you lose and uh these dorks will never you know that i'll say this i will play magic the gathering with any anybody communist so you know far leftist i don't care lgbtq none of that matters in fact i have played with all these types of people in my life it's only one side that refuses the other side why do you think that is Epic job, Tim. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe or follow down below. And we'll talk to you again real soon.